Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. Welcome back to all of my returning subscribers. I hope you're all doing well. If you would like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. Okay, you guys, so let's get into your reading. So you're starting off with communicate. Compromise, forgiving, and working something out here. Okay, so it looks like you might get a text message feels mostly like a text message i don't feel like that's a phone call um because of the little text bubbles but let's take a look and see somebody will be communicating with you virgo and this reading will be from the time you're listening to this through january okay so first oh we got cards flying out here um looks like someone's going through some kind of change um, relocating, coming out of a tough cycle and transitioning, facing their fears. So I feel like there is going to be someone um, coming your way, Virgo. Getting over their fears to reach out, try to work something out with you, talk to you, see if you guys can come to some kind of compromise. A lot of forgiveness here. Someone's going through a massive change. Let's take a look and see what else. Oh yeah, you've got the Six of Cups and Seven of Swords. Okay, there is an apology of some sort. Um, something to do with some deceit, lies, deception, theft. Um, asking for forgiveness for something that was done. Okay, 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 okay. Let's take a look here and see what else is going on. All right, someone's like carrying around some kind of heavy burden of um, feeling as if knowing that they need to apologize to you. Okay, could this be a lover? Of course. It could be a friend. It could be a sibling. Um, but it looks like someone is stepping in to the situation and taking accountability for um, causing or being a burden or causing problems or giving stress. I feel like someone... Um, here is is physically drained like they can't carry around they're saying this this burden anymore they owe you an apology um now maybe you don't feel like that someone owes you an apology but whoever this person is they want to talk to you again and it looks like they want to try to get into a better place with you um even, there might have even been a running away, so um, it might not have been like harsh words or something that was said. It could have been, for some of you, um, somebody just like not being present or not showing up. Uh, abandoning, I'm hearing, or just run, like running away from the situation. Maybe you taking on all of the pain and the stress and the burden. Somebody, somebody's lack of action has caused you to be the one to handle everything and deal with everything on your own. Okay, and I feel like, yeah, there's someone here that's quite apologetic for that. And is asking or hoping that you will forgive them if they ask. Okay, it could be another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um... There's also going to be this paying you back for something. They come into some financial gain and uh, they even offer this gift to you to make up for something that they did. So it's not just an apology without like amends. Okay, this this is an uh, this is I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. How can I make it up to you? Okay. And it's funny because I feel like it, it comes down and then, you know, you look at it like, I don't know, you're contemplating Virgo. That's you right there. So, yeah, there is some kind of a gift or um, monetary pay. Uh, new a new opportunity presenting itself through some communication. Some of you, I will say, I'm just getting this message that um, 
If you left a job or you were just like you're done, you don't want anything to do with some company or something might have happened, there is some severance pay or some money coming to you. And there's also um, some an employer or a client even asking um, if you would come back to work for them. Uh, that kind of thing is playing out as well. Uh, if you did some work for someone and you never received your pay for that, um, they're going to, here they are, paying you back or giving you the money that's deserved uh, or that you owe if you did some hard labor. Um, there's also, if someone did some work for you, they overcharged you and they are coming clean about that and they're going to give you back the money or some refund. Okay, interesting. Let's see what else is going on here. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at this. Nine of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like somebody must have indulged. They kind of like didn't do what they needed to do and took advantage. Somebody took advantage of you and they're coming in to apologize for that. Okay, they, yeah, oh my gosh, the hermit. This person has been thinking real hard, really reflecting. I feel like this communication that comes in and this apology is sincere. I feel like this person uh, wants to, uh, they really mean it. That's what I'm hearing. They really mean it. Like they really are sorry for what they might have, what they brought or what they didn't bring to the table. Let me see. A whole bunch of cards. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Somebody was like really greedy. Hanged man in the reverse. Very impatient. Definitely an apology. Page of Cups and the Ten of Swords for betraying. There's an energy of betrayal. And here's a King of Cups was just sticking out of the deck. So for some of you, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it could be um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, so there will be some communication. And I feel like this person is going to ask for forgiveness for something they might have done or didn't do. Now, is this a love thing or is this platonic or a work situation? Okay, there's the high priestess. Two of pentacles. And the queen of cups. Hmm, they're not really telling me, but it could be a love, it could be a love scenario, a romantic partnership. Virgo, I feel like you, um, you kind of already know that this person, like, it's like you already know or you already knew that this person was going to swing back around and make amends of some sort. You've intuitively known, and it was just a matter of like, I, I feel like some of you might have been questioning if you should reach out to this person. Um, to give them an opportunity to apologize or to make something up to you. But you've been kind of weighing it and a little bit of like, well, maybe I should just let them come to me when, they, when they're ready to do it. Let them do it. But you've also may have been like, okay, well, when the time is right, I'll reach out and ask for my, my apology <laughs> of some sort. Um, yeah, Virgo. I kind of feel like though... You aren't doing that and you may have decided, you know, you weighed the options and just decided you're going to keep quiet and, you know, just indulge yourself and make yourself happy and bring yourself to a good place. And of course, because of that, I feel like somebody is turning around here and coming your way to communicate and try to make something up to you, um, whether they owe you money or apologies for bad behavior in a relationship or lying deceit things like that i feel like someone here whoever this person is this either this earth sign or this water sign is going through 
a profound change and really coming out of their comfort zone um, to take this next step with you. Whether anything comes out of it remains to be seen. We'll take a look, but it feels like, I don't know if they have like, like there is a burden, definitely a burden. I don't know if there's guilt and remorse, but I feel like somebody wants, doesn't want to have like um, bad energy between you and them, if anything, just kind of like neutralize the situation. This could have something to do with it. All right. There is remorse. Yes. For some of you, this could have something to do with children or school, uh, school children. Uh, I'm just hearing not showing up for a play or a child, a school play of some sort as well. Um, somebody just feels like a lot of remorse, maybe not paying child support for some. There's just this like tremendous grief for um, cutting off, doing a cut off kind of thing or breaking a heart because even when I look at this guy on this card here he's holding three swords which is basically the three of swords in action you know this is somebody who's like I don't have the heartbreaker but there, there's a bit of like they def they, they they just are intent on cutting people out and self-sabotaging and that kind of energy. So yeah, I, I feel like somebody's coming in to apologize and make it up to you or, tr or attempt to make something up to you. Whether you forgive them or not, obviously is up to you. Um, or if you want to start communication up and give somebody here another chance, yeah, you might be able to do that. That's It depends. Let me see a couple more messages here. Okay, you do have the King of Wands showing up here now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the King of Wands here? This could be with a fire sign as well. So we got fire, earth, and water. You know, the holidays are coming. People are like, oh, wanting to make things right. Okay, so this fire sign comes in with the Eight of Swords. Ooh, fire signs feeling really left out in the cold. Like really, they're struggling. It looks like financial struggle that's affecting them mentally. Um, if you're dealing with the fire sign, I feel like this person... Oh, now here's the king of pentacles. Um, somebody might have been living with another person because they couldn't afford to pay something, feeling trapped. Or they couldn't afford to like live so they went and stayed with another person a brother or a friend or a sister <clears throat> okay the chariot borrowing their car to get around uh, it looks like so if this is like money that's owed to you um, somebody obviously like people only steal or uh, thieve if they don't have the finances um, to be able to afford stuff. I feel like this person comes into some kind of money or some kind of, you know, uh, gratuitous gift and they're able to, if it's a financial thing for you, they're able to pay you back some money that they owe you. They get back up on their feet. And as far as it being like a love situation, I do feel like someone is... Um, there is this, there is a thing about someone not having, um, the, not having the finances to be able to participate in a relationship, um, because someone was broke and didn't want to le lean on another person, and now they're kind of coming out of that and um, coming forward to try to start something new here with you, Virgo. What's Virgo's going reaction? What's Virgo going to do? You know, it's not a lot of love stuff. There's just a lot of like emotional regret okay hmm virgo you got the death card and that's scorpio energy so you might have scorpio in your chart somewhere but this makes me feel like your actions towards this person are just going to be like what's done is done um i don't know if you're going to try to have a new beginning with them after something ends there's always a new beginning so you might but like i always say you've got that free will so that's up to you if you want to forgive forget about it and try to rebuild with someone here you might want to 
you might just say, forget about it. It's done. Thank you for the apology. Thank you for paying me back and then move on. So it's kind of up in the air for you, Virgo. All right, Virgo, you also have, let's see, you have water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces being significant. And you have open up your heart again. Okay, so there's a water sign um, who's opening up their heart to you. And got the King of Cups right there at the front. Oh my goodness. And the Four of Wands. This might be a twin flame thing going on here. Um, the 1111. Okay, Virgo. So if you have a connection with a water sign, it could be anywhere in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Looks like um, there's an opening up of the heart. This some type of um, celebration, reunion coming forward with this King of Cups. Let's see. Wow, you got the Ten of Pentacles as well. This person wants to like settle down with you. Yes. Settle down. Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Um, I feel like this person... I don't, now, the King of Cups doesn't generally walk around with an open heart. They have a big heart, but they don't generally express their emotions like um, very easily. They're, they're very selective with expressing their feelings. Um, their words are quite choice. So if they want to express how they feel, um, it's more of a quality statement than saying it a lot. Um, they're, they're people of very few words, but when they speak... There's a very fluid, uh, a fluidity to their expression of feelings. And uh, the opening up the heart, you know, the heart is just muscle and, and, and blood. <laughs> so it, it's just, a, it, and the blood is very like potent, I kind of feel like. So this person, this water sign, this king of cups, masculine or feminine, of course, there may be some type of a holiday celebration coming up. Like, of course, it's Christmas too. Um, and if you don't celebrate Christmas and you have another holiday celebration, it's that. And also just some kind of reunion. I feel like this person um, wants to be uh, in a committed relationship with you. And uh, even it could even be marriage. There's the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, you've got a water sign coming in, making a proposal to you between now and uh, through January. Okay. Definitely a love offer. Okay. Um, proposing or, or proposing an idea of coming together. This person is very melancholy and is a bit sad. Um, <laughs> there's there's remorse here. Maybe even some guilt or a feeling of um, abandonment or loss with this King of Cups. I'm seeing a lot of poinsettias and I'm seeing a pilot as well. Oh, wow, the tower. Massive change coming through here from this person, this water sign. We have Scorpio energy here with the tower. Also Aries. There is a feeling of like, I'm just giving, they're giving me that old song, Burning Down the House. <laughs> Do you remember, who, who sang that? I can't remember. I, I see them in my mind. I see the video from the 80s <laughs> in my mind, but I can't remember the name of the group, of course, because I just can't access that part of my brain very quickly. It comes later. But um, yeah, I'm just hearing like burning. Uh, there might even be specifically an apology or um, guilt about a fire and someone like burned down this King of Cups, burned down some house. It could be symbolic, but also... Um, Oh, okay. Oh, all right. That's interesting. So I'm going to be very careful the way I say this here. But if it's a masculine, if you this is a very phallus symbol, and those look like little spermy sperms, <laughs> little swimmers. There might be this um, someone apologizing for not being able to have children, feeling guilty about that. Not necessarily apologizing, but feeling really guilty and wants to try again. Okay. And so obviously that's for a certain age group, but there is that energy playing out just really quickly. It may not be for all of you, um, but yeah, an apology or again, just a guilt and remorse for something that fell apart or just got destroyed. Okay. And so that opening up of the heart 
I feel like um, there's going to be some type of communication as well. So, uh, this King of Cups expressing their feelings for you, telling you that they love you and that they want to be with you or they want to rebuild that house again. Um, our house in the middle of the street. Our house. Yeah. Or rebuild the house for some of you, symbolically or specifically. Okay. Seven of Swords. Okay. A little bit like the reading you just had. There is this... <clears throat> Oh, something to do here with children are paying uh, for a car, paying off, um, paying off a car. Did somebody steal your car, Virgo? Did this person take your car, <laughs> take your car in your house. What's going on? Um, I feel like somebody was running away. This King of Cups running away and they're slowly making their way back to you and they are uh, coming your way as well. Or they might have, they might have run away or they've been away and just kind of like, what happened here? They have um, some remorse. Let me see. Oh, this high priestess keeps showing up. The page of cups. Oh, there's something here about silence. Uh, I feel like this, this king of cups didn't share their emotions or their feelings or anything with you before. And it, 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 there's this, Page of Cups can be my apology card too, but there is this, like, want to talk to you and actually open up the heart and tell you how they feel. I mean, and they're very direct here with this chariot. So this is an energy of someone who's putting it out there. You know, they know exactly what they have to do. Bringing balance back to a situation. This person, like I said, the King of Cups doesn't usually share their deepest deepest inner feelings um, and mostly it's because um, they have a fear of losing control it can be a bit controlling uh, and or they um, if it's a Scorpio they can be a bit kind of controlled controlled chaos <laughs> kind of um, to open up and be vulnerable means to a Scorpio certain ones that um, they could get hurt because they feel things very deeply, extremely deep, their emotions. Um, now, if you're dealing with a cancer, um, they can open up their heart, but it feels like a lot of the water signs have a control thing, but it's mostly for protection, to protect themselves, not to hurt others. Pisces can be very open with the heart, um, but they also keep things within pretty deeply. Yeah, so if there was something that you needed from this person before that sharing, I mean, Virgo, you're not exactly open with your emotions either because you tend to protect yourself as well. So, and like I said in the reading yesterday, um, Virgo, you might be more inclined to open up your heart to someone who, if they do it first, or you will kind of like tiptoe and get to it, but kind of slowly. So I feel like there is a little bit of similarity here between you and this other person. Um, there might have been more defensiveness than anything, or there might have been an opening up and another person might have just shut it down. And now it's like going to happen again. There's going to be some type of communication, love coming in. There's a Queen of Cups showing up here. Okay, so definitely confirmation that this is a water sign. That's three times now. Anything else Virgo needs to know about this situation here? Because I feel like this person's seriously in love with you. The Magician, the Six of Cups. Look, I feel like we get a lot of repeating cards. Um, There's definitely a new beginning happening here. This person is very attracted to you, Virgo, like beyond anyone they've ever felt attraction for. Um, you just resemble someone who is very independent and stable and beautiful, handsome. Um, and there may even be this, I feel like this person wants to have some type of interaction with you if it can't be love if you shut that down they may say to you okay well can we just be friends
okay can we just be friends this person with the magician can be like um a dancer or a singer um or they're in some kind of performance so they they do things as a job for other people but they they might be on um like a video or they do things on a video or they do things um could be like working in um the entertainment industry as well or um they have like a they might even be a craftsman or a craftswoman someone that does crafts and then they kind of put on a show i'm just hearing that could be you too virgo all right yeah ace of cups so there's a new start in love here there's definitely a new beginning for some of you this could be somebody brand new might not be somebody who is um coming back around it, it, it honestly i have to tell you because you have the six of cups and then you have the ace of cups it's it's both for some of you this is somebody coming back around and for others this is somebody new coming in okay so you're just gonna have to wait and see how that plays out but i feel like it's both here let's take a look at your energy virgo what's going on with you all right that almost wanted to flip but we'll take it okay you have judgment well of course you do virgo Let's take a look. I mean, I feel like you're open. You're clear about things. You have no problem opening up your heart to this person. Well, you won't have any problem opening your heart up to this person, it looks like. Um, but you probably will have some judgment on them. You might have a judgment formed already. Or you may place judgment on them. Okay, you've got the fool. Or you might also just be like not judging them and just letting it go and just having that free energy around you and i feel like you you would want to have some kind of reunion with this person if it was offered which i think it is and get together you would be interested to date this person um i feel like you have clarity at this time in your life like you're free you look like you're free or going forward you you definitely you're like whatever i'll take the risk you know um why <laughs> virka why because i feel like you are um okay with yourself do you know what i mean like it doesn't like i feel like i don't feel like you'll take a risk and then give your soul to someone and then lose it all i feel like you're you know who you are and you're not only interested you want i don't i feel like you would be open to not only dating this person but uh, taking it real lightly and make, keeping your options open um but i feel like you need someone that's going to be open with you before you are open with them so it looks like you may reconcile with this person here's a death card ending just like the last one yeah okay that's double scorpio there so you might have a connection with a scorpio and aquarius is there as well and there's the, Capric the Capricorn, the devil. Death and the devil. No more toxic BS. Come clean. That's you. No more toxic BS. Come clean. Let it all out. Tell me everything. Open up your heart. That's your mantra. That's how it has to be for you. Um, you're not bound. That's what I was saying. Even with the fool. It's kind of like, you know, even with judgment, it's like you're free. I feel like you are free. You don't feel bound. Like your energy, it looks to me like you are well, I mean I I am um, I can live without you. I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't like to live without you, but I could. So you're just not like desperate. I don't see any desperation here with you. So I feel like it's real positive for you. You're you're stable you seem to be very stable so if somebody comes in and opens your heart you're more than willing to listen and talk to them and open yourself up and if there's an opportunity for commitment with the hierophant which is taurus um yeah you'll be down with it but it has to be like traditional has to be in some type of order um it can't just be flailing all over the place with in and out type of energy it has to be like um sealed like a sealed deal for you otherwise you're nope i'm out <laughs> all right let's see what else is going on here for you virgo virgo sun moon rising or venus oh you got two cards here all right you've got a no it's not the right time and you have let go make room for the new beginning on its way to you now okay virgo so 
there is someone here who is not ready um, they are letting go of something okay either letting go of the relationship or letting go of the idea they're opening the, there might be something new coming in to another person and it's not the right time okay somebody is traveling there's a high priestess but they're not seeing anything to you okay traveling for work okay so there is a situation going on here where someone is not it's not the right time for some kind of a relationship um due to they have other commitments and it feels like because of the eight of pentacles that may be a work thing here okay so um they can't connect with you during this time period from now through january um, they're keeping really secret though. They're not saying anything. No. I want to get a clarifying card for the high priestess. Why not tell you that? They're saying it's not the right time to you, but I feel like it's because they have something else going on. They're not telling you because, um, they don't want to put a burden on you or, um, they're just saying, no, this is not a good time. They're not telling you why. I don't know why. They don't want to cause stress. Hmm. Wait a minute. There we go. I feel like this is going to be one of those real truth readings here. I really do okay so all right this is what's happening so this person wants to have some type of new love start with you or a child or to have a child with you or you know the ace of cups can be marriage and, and it could be like a, it's like a potential they see a potential here for you and them to go you know that distance with each other in a romantic way they have some type of a commitment they might have commitments to their kids um or other family stuff going on maybe an, another person that they are just they can't start this thing with you right now is what i feel <clears throat> i don't feel like there's anything else going on with that it's not like I don't feel like there's any lies or deception about this. I don't feel like this person is, um, it's because of somebody else in like another romantic interest. Um, they have some type of commitment maybe to a father or father figure or a boss, um, a work thing. Um, they're, you know, the, the whole, oh, they just said, this person may tell you I can't now and I don't want you to wait. Um, you know, if somebody else comes into your life that you want to go with, do it. Um, keep yourself open to someone else. They may, they may have told you that or they're telling you that um, because they're just heavily burdened. They can't do this thing with you right now. This love thing. That's really like the biggest message I'm getting. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be away a lot or they are away a lot. Uh, it's either due to it's some commitment that they have either due to work finances um or a, a or like a a boss or someone in a in a position of authority to them the courts could be legal um could be uh, someone else like an ex that has put high demands on them okay the tower so i feel like this person you know, this is a tough reading, but I, I feel like this person is pretty much trying to say to you, don't wait for me. That's really the biggest message. They're saying, don't wait for me. Let someone else come into your life. I just can't do this right now. I, I can't do it now. Can I do it later? Maybe. And if you're still available... And if I'm available, uh, maybe. But they see, listen, Virgo, this person with the Ace of Cups here, I mean, they do see that, that there's such a huge potential here. 
with you. You guys could be at a distance as well with the chariot. Uh, let me see. There's Aries here. So you could be dealing with an Aries. You got a Scorpio there. We have the Three of Pentacles here. Could be related to um, their children. If they have children, it doesn't matter. They could be little, they could be older, grown, there could be grandchildren. Um, uh, something to do with either work in a school and they're they like in like they just uh, it doesn't really matter it just feels like this person's not able to meet your need there's great potential and they see it for something here to go forward with you yeah i feel like this person is just kind of going to go silent you know if they aren't already and i don't feel like it has anything to do with you or that you're not good enough or that you're not wonderful. They see wonderful things about you, you know, um, how you are as a person. It feels like it's a timing thing. Okay, the Ace of Wands. It feels like mostly it's a timing thing. Let me see what else is going on here. Oh, I'm just hearing, um, oh, they have a lot of stress about, they feel like maybe they led you on or they will, if you've been dating this person or, um, going forward, I do feel like they flirt, they may have, they will flirt with you and things like that, but it, see, it's another ace, so that still tells me that it's just nothing more than a potential at this point. I feel like this person um, really gets excited when they hear from you, like when you message them or when you, um, or they message you, they hit, they get like very, uh, giddy. I'm just, they just gave me the word giddy. They get like super excited when they hear from you. Um, and when they don't hear from you, they, they kind of stress out a little bit. So it feels like this person, the most that they can do is maybe just communicate back and forth, text messages, phone calls, FaceTime, whatever you do, right? Um, but it feels like that's their limit in this connection here. And that, I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know if that's something that you want um, or if you're okay with that. You have cancer as well, so it could be a cancer that you're connecting with. Um, if you meet this person going forward, I feel like if you know what you're looking for, if you're dating and you know what you want, um, try not to get caught up in someone that's very indirect. Try to get some kind of understanding of where this person is because you might meet this person um, and get kind of not saying anything to them, you know, and just kind of trying to read the room with them to see if they want to turn it into something more. And if they're indirect and you're not getting like a straight answer because some people... Oh my goodness, what is that? Some people don't want to give a straight answer. They want to still kind of communicate and hold on. Somebody is like sawing. Somebody is sawing. Really? Like it's raining out. It's winter. Who the heck is... Do you hear that? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so I feel like this person um, might be indirect and might want to still kind of just keep communicating and flirting back and forth and not tell you that they can't not tell you that they can't commit in anything long term because they have other priorities or commitments but they don't want to tell you that because then they won't have the co your company so yeah if that's not going to work for you virgo you know um some of you might be like oh that's fine that's all i can't give much more either um and I'm fine with us just flirting back and forth and keeping some keeping each other company. I'm, I don't need anything very serious right now. And if I meet somebody else, then yeah, then that will be that. So, but I feel like maybe they weren't direct with you. And also, I do feel like either they weren't or they won't be, and they will keep trying to. Um, so if you start dating this person or talking to them, and then you ask them. Um, you know, to go forward, they, if they are direct, they might say, I just can't right now, but they're, they don't want to lose 
this connection here. They, they won't want to. They'll want to... I don't know. It's only a string long if you allow it and you have hope for something more. Then then you place the label that they're stringing you along if they're not direct, right? If they're if they're being indirect, then they're just being a jerk. But you also have to ask Virgo. You can't just read the room. You could and then make up your own mind, but you if you're not sure, you should ask this person. Now, they might turn around and say, don't wait around for me, but they're going to kind of hover still. I feel like they're going to stick around. So it might be one of those scenarios where you might you have to figure out what it is that you want. Are you going to walk away or just temporarily like just be like, nah, we'll come back, maybe address another time or see how you feel later or if things change for you later. Um, or you might just patiently wait until the time is right, right? Somebody could say, no, this is not the right time. Open yourself up to meet somebody else. Um, but it's that's your decision, not theirs, you know? you know um if it's not the right time then that's they're owning that but to tell you what you need to do with that is up to you okay we have pisces here so yeah virgo it just kind of feels to me like this person is lacking the capability to make something go even like further to be to go where you want it to go if you don't want it to go anywhere well then you're okay with the way it is then until somebody else comes along sure do what you need to do for you okay so you have the two of cups there definitely is a good connection here though between you and this person i see or at least will be okay there is um like two like-minded individuals there's, there is something that keeps or will keep you two communicating still. That's part of the reason why this person um, will not be ready to let you go fully. Okay. Even though there's, I see them saying this is not, a, this is not the right time right now for anything more. There is something special here about the connection. There's um, maybe even a good friendship or there is, um, a, the, again, Two of Cups is still potential, potential romance to blossom. Yeah, I just kind of get a sense that if anything, it might be something where you both decide, well, we'll just be friendly and nothing more and, and see how things turn out later. Okay, that's the most of the message I'm getting here. And then, you know, pick a lane. This is the two of wands is always like, all right, Virgo, you need to pick a lane. Pick a lane and stick with that lane. You know, like when you're driving down the highway, <laughs> you know how those people are like, okay, they're in the left lane and they're in the right and then they're, they're weaving in and out. Um, that's very unstable. Pick up where you want to be. Pick a lane. You want to drive down the left lane and hold up traffic? doing 40 miles an hour and deal with all the honkers and the annoyed people that's up to you <laughs> you know or do 80 who cares it's up to you. you you definitely need to make a decision though i feel about you know what you want to do and i see you getting to that place where you're just like hmm okay let me see let me figure out here's my gift to you i'm gonna hang out with you and if things change that's great and we'll still have a great friendship or um, I'm not going to save a space for you. I'm going to go find somebody else that's in alignment with me. That's all. And that's clarity. So that's what I feel like you get this clarity about the whole scenario, about the whole situation. You get truthful and honest with yourself. Cut the BS, Virgo. Get truthful with yourself. And don't let your emotions hold you back. Right? All right. Uh, good luck. All right. Let's get into names initials all that good stuff see what's coming up all right someone is age 54 someone is 35 we have a 17 over there 17 september 17th they just said okay we have the initial a we have an e and a k someone's name may be k someone likes ikea look someone someone buys the ikea furniture like you have Ikea or that's your favorite brand. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm doing the videos in different parts now. 
So if, you, if you're that person that's here listening to the full one hour, which you would be, or the 45 minutes, you're getting this. Um, but I'm not up uploading individually this. So hope that, that you understand what I'm doing. Okay, 1970. 1989. We have the initial J. Someone's name is Jake or Jacob. And you have December. All right, what's going on in December? Let's see. December 19th. Ooh. Oh, I guess that's now. So something significant happening December 19th. And if you go back into my readings, there was a reading that something magical was happening on December 19th. Okay, let's see what else do we have. All right, September 2nd. Letter A, yet again. Somebody might be in a recovery program. All right, let's see what else. Oh, sticking to me. 1969, September 15th, September 22nd. Okay, someone is 53. Someone's name is Mala. Or Malia. Oh, you're getting some mail, too. Someone's, you're getting an email. Check your email. There's a very important email coming for you. Yes, very important email. Okay. Liam. Somebody's name is Liam. Or I just heard Alan and now Alma. Somebody somebody hears a male. <laughs> like, you know, female, male. Eli. Somebody's name is Eli. Okay, and um, you know, I feel like I'm doing, what is it called? Is it Scrabble? Yeah, it's totally Scrabble. Um, you might be having a meal right now. Someone's having a meal. Okay, Leah, Mia, Ian, Ian, Ian. Okay, now we've got September 3rd. Someone is 34. Someone is born in 87. And we have February 1972, someone's birthday, February 14th. Significant, it's Valentine's Day. Let's see what else do you have here. Okay. H, I. Okay. We've got November, significant month, November. Uh, September 20th and the 13th. We have the 4th. 35, 1971. Okay. August 23rd. Okay. Somebody's in jeans. Somebody wears blue jeans or wears jeans. Like, I never wear jeans. I always wear, like, leggings. <laughs> But somebody's wearing jeans, maybe because of the weather, or just likes jeans. Uh, 1990. Okay. Let's see who is significant. Sign is significant. Showing up for you in December through January. Okay. Aquarius, Aries, and Taurus will be showing up in January or December through January. Aries again, Taurus again, and Capricorn. Sagittarius. Twice and Taurus. All right, let me get your Chinese signs. Show Virgo. What is Virgo's Chinese sign? Now, if this sign resonates for you, that's just more of a, um, a message that the reading was for you. Or one of them. Okay, year of the rabbit, year of the rooster, year of the horse, year of the dog, year of the pig. Year of the Tiger, Horse again, Dog again, Rabbit again, my goodness, Year of the Dragon, and Year of the Rat. Okay, very significant Chinese sign for you guys. And let's get your charms. 
All right, you've got, look, a saw. Just what I was saying. Did you hear, hear in the video? I, I heard somebody like sawing. And I haven't heard it since, right? It's only when I'm recording videos that people start making noise and doing weird things. Okay, you've got a saw. So somebody's working with a saw, doing some work with a saw. Or works with a saw. Cuts down trees, does some carpentry work. Someone's a carpenter. You also have a black flower with a with a diamond. Oh gosh, I've the only I've never I don't think I've ever seen a black flower. Now, if you have, um, that's a very strong message for you. It's very symbolic. Like I'm hearing black flower or a dark flower, very symbolic for someone with like a white center, maybe a cone flower. Um, they're very, it feels like it's rare. Um, and I do feel like this has something to do with you being a rarity, Virgo. <laughs> of course you are unique and rare. Um, what the heck is this? Oh, okay. So we got a, a peace sign here. I don't know, Virgo, you give the peace sign to people. Maybe you like peace out. I, I guess people don't say that anymore, but there's something to do here with a peace sign that is significant to you. And you also have a blue crown. All right, this represents to me a king. Uh, there's a king or someone that you call a king. Could be somebody's name, last name, or a pet name. My king. Um, someone calls someone a king or is a king. You could be connecting with someone who's royalty as well or have a crush on a king. I don't know any other. Well, okay, whatever. It's your business. <laughs> but it feels very male. It, masculine to me um, but also somebody's having a baby and they're naming the baby king maybe queen depends but they're naming it could be the name of a band as well I'm just hearing king you know how there was queen now someone's gonna come out with a band called king <laughs> okay hey whatever that's clever all right you guys so I'm gonna leave that for you um, I hope you guys have a great evening and i'll see you all back here tomorrow take care hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye